So not mentioned in my video about deworming birds, I want new folks to realize that if you've never dewormed your birds before, you want to use a gentle product. Wazine is recommended because you can overload your birds and kill them from shock and actually even plug them up if you use too harsh of a product at first. And also it's recommended to throw your eggs out for two weeks after deworming. And follow up in 10 to 14 days again and deworm them a second time. So these are some of the worms I found after deworming with Safeguard product. Now what prompted all this was uh, one of the chickens pooped and I saw a worm which reminded me I probably haven't dewormed my birds in a while so I decided I should deworm them and I typically use Ivomec Epronix which is different than Ivermectin. Do not confuse the two which I see get confused all the time. They are different. And the reason I initially went to using this product is because in beef it has zero withdrawal for milk and meat, which is assumed that there is zero withdrawal for eggs and chickens because, as you probably know, there are very few products approved for chickens for deworming. And the other product that I've read was good is Safeguard, which uses, however you say that word, finbindazole. So anyhow, I had a bird suddenly die, I think from heat stroke because it's really hot right now where we are and she had just laid an egg in the chicken coop. Um, and I always autopsy my birds out of curiosity to try and figure out what happened because she was perfectly healthy, she wasn't very old, um, a year and a half about. And I think it was just heat stroke, but I did also find that she had about a dozen worms in her, round worms, like I showed you. So, and I had read that Epronex is not very reliable for worming, deworming chickens. Um, so, uh, to be honest, I'm not sure if she had worms before and it did get rid of, because I dewormed them about two weeks before. But I did not notice worms in their poop after deworming them. Uh, but not knowing if they even had worms because I deworm about twice a year. I wasn't sure if they just didn't have worms to speak of or if it didn't work. So anyhow, after seeing the dozen worms in her, I decided to go with the Safeguard product. And I used the horse one in a tube. And I just took and directly out of the tube squeezed, um, I went with two pea-sized drops on um, just a treat that I knew they would eat. Because when I read the instructions, it says for roundworms, you double the dose. So that's, and it's, um, information I read from a reliable source said it was safe to go up to 100 times the dose in animals. So <clears throat> I decided that the two drops would be a safe dose still and hopefully effective on the roundworms. And this morning I did see um, poops with worms in them. One of them had about six worms. So I would say that the safeguard is definitely effective in at least removing some of the worms, if not all of them. Where the Epronex I find questionable. So I just wanted to pass that information along of my experience using the two products. So in the future I will probably go with the safeguard more often and I'm probably going to deworm my birds about four times a year after seeing what I've seen. I'll just see how many worms I see in three months when I treat them. And the Epronex I've heard is excellent for lice and mites and it's a topical. So I'll probably keep it around just for that reason in case I do have an issue with lice and mites I'll utilize it. And it's also recommended to rotate dewormers because they can build immunity. The worms can build immunity to whatever product you're using. It is recommended to deworm your babies at around four months of age. And this is from a professional who has a master's degree, not my opinion.